going to be telling you all a story. So the name of the story is The Three Fishes. So one day there were two fishermen walking along a mighty street when they saw a huge pond. It was so huge that even it would be bigger than the elephant. Imagine. So one of them said that, oh my goodness, this is such a huge pond. If we lay a net and catch the fishes and sell them in a market, we'll be rich, said one of them. The other one said, yes, you are right, but it is way too late and the sun is setting down. So I think the fishermen must have gone to their house. Let us do the catch. Let's come to this pond first thing in the morning tomorrow and fish it. Both of them agreed and left. So there were three fishes listening to the conversation in the water. Wisely, followy, and instructive. Now Wisely was the wisest fish. While followy were always used to listen to his brain and follow what was the right thing. And what an instructive well, he used to never listen to anybody. So, wisely said to his friends, that, friends, do you listen to the fishermen's conversation? They're going to catch us all tomorrow and eat us up. Eat us and sell us up. Now, we do not want that, right? I instruct, I think that we should immediately leave this area. So, following said, yes, you're a good idea. That's a good idea. Let him go warn the other fishes. So, there were about 100 fishes in that pond. 98% of them said was 50% of them was ready to go to another area. Well, 50% well, 50 was still thinking. While the other 50% was thinking, Instructi said that, Why should we leave this area? This has been our home since generations. All our ancestors and everybody has been living here. Why should we leave this place? I say that I will live here and I will face the future and I will come out of it. And even if I do, I will meet you tomorrow afternoon. Instructor said rudely. Now the other 50% also followed instructor. So then 50% of them got ready to leave and 50% got ready to stay. So they went to another river through a big hole to which, which they led to the ocean. Then the next day, the first thing in the morning, the two fishermen came back. And you know what happened, right? They got a huge net and laid it right on the on the pond and nobody even realized. They all got caught and sadly they all died. So the moral of the story is you should not always trust your instincts, but you should also think what will happen if you do what you do.